You are performing this repair at your own risk. You cannot be held responsible for any injuries to yourself or damage done to your device while attempting a repair. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to replace the LCD screen in the iPod Touch 2nd and 3rd generation. To access the LCD, we'll have to pry up the glass. While doing so, be careful of the side volume buttons and the power button. We'll insert our metal wedge in between the rubber seal and the back metal case and go along the perimeter of the glass. There are clips located at the top, on the bottom, on opposite sides of the sink port, and four on each of the long sides. You'll also want to be careful of the headphone jack and sink port. We'll continue prying along the opposite side to release the remaining clips. And finally, we'll free the two clips located at the top. Now that we've freed all the clips, we can open the screen up. However, be careful because it is still plugged into the logic board. Here you can see a close-up of just where the digitizer cable plugs into the board. This simply unplugs from its port and you can use your small flathead screwdriver or case opener tool to lift it free. Now we'll peel back the shiny ground adhesive located at the top right. Next, we'll need to fold the LCD upwards to access a number of screws that will need to be removed. The LCD is held to a metal frame with a light adhesive. So we'll slide our case opener tool underneath of the LCD and in between the metal frame. And this should free it from the adhesive. The LCD cable runs underneath this metal plate. There's a total of eight Phillips screws that will need to be removed in order to lift out this metal plate. Now we're going to want to go ahead and unplug the LCD cable from its port on the logic board. It simply unplugs using your small flathead or case opener tool. Next we're going to lift out this metal insert using our small flathead screwdriver so that we can slide the LCD cable out from underneath. Do note that you will not be able to lift this metal insert out completely. The battery is adhered to the underside and its cable soldered to the logic board. Now that we've freed the LCD, we can remove the screen and set it aside. 
we'll now grab our replacement LCD screen and insert it in place of our old one. You'll need to tuck the LCD cable beneath this metal frame. Next, we'll go ahead and gently plug the LCD cable into its port on the logic board. Now we can flip that metal ground tape back over and re-adhere it to our new LCD screen. Now we'll carefully insert this frame back into the iPod housing. Be very careful not to touch the LCD as fingerprints are extremely hard to get off. With the metal frame correctly in place, we can begin reinserting the eight Phillips screws around the perimeter of this frame. It's important that the LCD screen is perfectly centered in the metal frame. This will allow the mid frame to fit in between the side clips and the LCD screen. All that we have left to do is to reinstall the front glass assembly. The first step in doing this is to plug in the digitizer cable, which will gently snap into its port on the logic board. Once that cable is securely in place, we'll test the digitizer, make sure the touch is responding as it should, and we can also see that the LCD is working properly. And now we're going to very carefully snap this frame back in place. We'll do two corners at a time. Start from one side, make sure that's somewhat flush with the housing, and then we'll go around to the other. Now it's possible to crack your screen while you're installing this piece. So you want to be extremely careful and not apply too much pressure. Our final step will be to go around the perimeter once more and make sure that all clips are securely in place and the screen is flush on all sides. Find a full line of parts and services for this model as well as a number of others on our website, GadgetMenders.com.